Hey guys, this is Anthony Morganti. I am MrPhotographer.com. You may remember a week or so ago, I posted a Photoshop video demonstrating how to remove this garbage can. After that video posted, numerous people commented, Hey, why didn't you use Content Aware Fill? I can't believe you didn't use Content Aware Fill. You know, if you use Content Aware Fill, it would have been a lot easier and faster. Man, I kept waiting for you to use Content Aware Fill and you never did. Well, I didn't, but I thought, I'm going to do this video. I'm going to take the same exact image, same exact garbage can, and we're going to use Content Aware Fill to remove it. Now, if you didn't see that other video I'm talking about, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to it. I'll also have a link to it in the top right-hand corner of this video and at the end of the video. Now, we want to remove the garbage can. We really first have to get a selection of the garbage can. But before I do that, I'm going to duplicate the background later, layer. To do that, on my Mac, I'm going to hit Command-J. On a PC, hit Control-J. I'm going to zoom in so I get a little closer look at that garbage can. I'm going to hit Command-plus a couple times on my keyboard. If you have a PC, it's Control-plus. I'm going to hold the space bar in so I get the hand tool and I could drag over to the garbage can. Now I need to get a selection of this. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. The keyboard shortcut for that is W. It's over here. There are three tools in that little cubby and all of them share that keyboard shortcut, a W. Make sure you're using the middle tool, the quick selection tool. I'm going to get a little bit of a larger brush by hitting the right bracket key. Left bracket key would make it smaller. And I'm going to get a selection of the garbage can. Now, as I mentioned in that previous video, the important part of the selection is right along the ladder. We want to make sure that that is perfect. The other part, I could over select the other part so I could you know, go way up above the black part of the garbage can or way down below the bottom of the garbage can because we're replacing it and it doesn't really matter there. But we don't want to like replace the ladder with uh, water or sand and we don't want to replace the ladder with garbage can. So we want to make sure that we have that selection along that edge very, um, very accurate. So I'll just do a quick selection right there. All right, now probably get a little more above this top edge of the of the bag here. I over selected, hold the alt or option key and it's alt if you have PC, option if you have a Mac to get the negative brush and we'll bring this back down so that it's more like that. Now that's all right if I over select above the water. Again, the important part is that edge along the ladder. I'm going to get a smaller brush by hitting the left bracket key a couple, three times, four times, five times. And then we'll get in this little part right here. All right, and I could get more of a selection down here. And I over selected over here, so I'll hold the Alter Option key in, like that. Get this little part of the garbage can here. Over selected, oops, I accidentally zoomed out, but that's all right. I'm gonna hold that Alter Option key to deselect that part. Zoom back in, Command Plus a few times, hold the space bar in to drag it over. All right, look in our selection, it looks okay. Uh, we could further refine the selection. We could go to Select and Mask like I did in the other video, and I just will feather it slightly, smooth it very slightly, and I'm going to shift the edge out a little bit so that um, we're making sure that we're getting rid of all the blue of the garbage can. Now it's over selected a little bit over here. So I'm going to go and get the minus tool to remove from the selection. I'm what I'm getting at right in here, it's just taking out a little bit too much of the um, garbage can. And we don't want that. There, that's a little better. Yeah, that's better. All right, so we have our selection. We want to output it to a selection just like that. So we'll click OK. All right, so we're now back in regular Photoshop. We have the garbage can selected. It looks pretty good. Let me just maybe over here. No, it's, it's all right. All right, so pretty good. So let's use the uh, quick content aware fill. If you're not familiar, there's actually two different versions of content aware fill in Photoshop. One of them is super fast and easy to use. To use that one, hold in the shift key, and on a PC, hit the backspace key. On a Mac, you hit the delete key while holding in that shift key, and you bring up the fill dialog box. Make sure that the dropdown is content aware, color adaptation is not checked, blend mode is normal, 100% opacity, 
And in this case, we do not have to preserve any transparency. So we're just going to click OK. And we'll see what it does. Well, it didn't do such a great job, right? It, because that isn't the smart content aware fill, is it? So that's kind of the quick one. So we're going to undo that by hitting Command Z on my Mac. It's Control Z on your PC. Let's use that other content aware fill, the one that gives you a lot more um, options and power. To use that one, we'll go up to Edit, then down to Content Aware Fill. And when you do that, this larger dialog box pops up. And you can see by default, it came on auto over here on the right. And if you look at the preview screen, you could see that that did a horrible job. It's still replacing some of the ladder, or it's putting some of the ladder in the water, and it's got lines around it and stuff. So it's not a good choice. Next to that, we have the rectangular uh, sample. So that will take a rectangular, rectangular sample and replace uh, the garbage can. I'm going to zoom out a little bit by hitting Command minus. Um, over here, there we go. So you could see better what we're doing. All right, so you could see that it took this big uh, uh, sample, rectangular sample, but it's still putting some of the ladder in the water. So that isn't a good choice either. Now, I know you know that. What we want to do is custom. So we want to paint on the image where we want it to sample from. All right, so we have a brush, and we have the plus, so we're going to add to the sample. And I think right next to the garbage can is a good choice, don't you? So we're going to sample right next to the garbage can. We're going to go one this way. We'll go down to the sand that way. Go over that way. Go up and down like that. Then we'll look over the preview box, and you can see it failed miserably. It's putting sand up in the water, and it, sand doesn't match. It's not doing a good job. So um, let's undo that. Hit Command-Z. Uh, let's try maybe over here. Let's try over here. Go like this that and see what that does and that failed miserably too as you could see zoom it in and drag it over and you could see that it's not doing a good job there as well so we'll undo that um, what if I just maybe just take one click right right at the water sand boundary one click and see what that does and you could see that that didn't do a good job either so it appears to me that content aware fill doesn't work well in this instance. Now you could come in and you could do, you know, sample all layers, see if that makes a difference. We do have two layers. As you can see, it doesn't because they're just duplicate layers. That isn't going to do anything. Um, let's see, the fill settings, uh, color adaptation. Let's go to very high, see if that helps. And that didn't help either. As you could see, we could try like high. We could try none. And default again, didn't help. Rotation adaptation. Um, I don't know, let's jump all the way down to full. I don't think that's going to make a difference at all. As you could see, it just kind of like swirled everything. So that doesn't do anything either. Let's go back to none. And you could mirror it. It's not going to help, obviously, or scale it. Nothing there is going to help. So, as you can see, Content Aware Fill does not work for this example. In this example, you really need to do it like I did in that previous video. And again, I'll have links to that previous video below this video. And in the top right hand corner, if you click on that little eye, and by the way, that little eye will only show up if you're watching this on YouTube. And it will be linked at the end of the video. And again, that will only show up if you're watching this on YouTube. So, that's why I didn't use Content Aware Phil. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon. <laughs>